This is the Custom 1700 as a cape. It comes as a ranch or as a cape. This is the 1012 roof hitch cape. Notice the gable window on the second floor up there. Boy, I did such a good job leaving the trees in the yard. It's hard to see here. Anyways, um, this house is 1,717 square feet on the main floor. It comes as either a three bedroom or a four bedroom version with two baths. It also has two living rooms. This is the four bedroom version. So the second living room is smaller because that's where the fourth bedroom is in. We'll just go in here. This house uh, got its CO issued and um, we just had it cleaned. We haven't done a punch list yet. So there are items that have to be touched up and fixed. But anyways, I'm gonna walk in the front door. Got a surprise for you at the end on this one, by the way. Anyways, we did uh, all vinyl flooring throughout the house. Let me take my shoes off here. All right. <clears throat> anyways, this is the living room that you first come in. Got LED can lights throughout the house. This is the staircase that goes up to the second floor. That's a breakfast bar there for the kitchen. And this is the actual kitchen. Hardwood cabinets. All shaker style, soft clothes. Nice big pull down faucet. And then back here you have the laundry room and a pantry. You can see in there, I don't know. Anyways. That's your base floor plan. That's your base um, baseboard, six inch standard. Your three and five eighths standard crown moldings. That's what it looks like in this house. I th I mean, this is handsome. This is the standard. This is not upgraded. Here's your back door. Leads out to the back five acres of this property. But anyways, we put a oversized deck on the back of it for access to the backyard and the five acres heating and air down there anyways go back in and this is your standard base custom 1700 classic 1700 sorry classic 1700 house <coughs> Another closet. Under the staircase. Here is bedroom number two. Recess can lights. Here, of course, without having to say it again, but your two by six side walls. And your closet. And of course your molding stay in your closet. Isn't that nice? Is it also nice that it's not wrap wall board like a mobile home? <laughs> Anyways, I laugh, but it's sad sometimes. Levered handles. Now, I'm going to walk across here and point this out. See this bathroom here? If you did the three bedroom version, this bathroom would be down here, which is where bedroom four is. And this second living room and dining room would be larger. It would stretch all the way down to here. But anyway, so this is the four bedroom version. We don't have that. And so here's bedroom number three. Again. Pretty much the same as bedroom two. LED can light. Your 
walk in. There's your closet. And bedroom four. Now we didn't actually put a closet in this bedroom four. We did this as a study because this property already had a septic tank in it with a three bedroom limit on it. So we opened this up and didn't put a closet in here. But this is this is where your closet would go on the four bedroom versions over there. Anyways. If you wanted a closet, you don't have to have a closet. And then we're going to go across the second living room, across the first living room, over into the master bedroom. And here we are with the master bedroom, which actually is very large. This is actually a large master bedroom. Honestly, uh, there's a lot of space in this master bedroom and your LED can light. And by the way, we even have the power on. See, the light works. <laughs> I forgot. I'm walking through this without the lights on. I forgot. The lights are already on on this thing. Um, yeah, lights in your closet. There we go. Anyways, this is your walk-in closet for your master. Goes all the way down. Again, I have versions of this where you can make it bigger if you get rid of the pantry and the coat closet, you know, anyways, <clears throat> and then you've got the master bath, which there's different versions of this. This is the standard, which has a bow front tub, oversized shower head, and it's both tub and shower. You could also do a tile shower that runs from this wall all the way over to there, or you can do a 48 inch and a tub. I mean, there's def different versions of how you can do this. I really like those cabinet colors there. It really came out nice. Okay, now for your surprise. <laughs> Ready for your surprise? Here's the surprise. Over the weekend... We, when we set the house, we had sheetrock measured before be delivered for the set crew to put up in the attic. Okay, over the weekend, we had the second floor roughed in. So here we are. This is your second floor, all roughed in. Soon to have, it's all been insulated. It's going to be soon be mudded and everything. So I believe this is right at 960 more square feet. Something along those lines. I'd have to do the math. I can't remember right this second. And uh, all that's been roughed in. So you've all seen it without the sheetrock in. This is basically what the base model house looks like with all the sheetrock in it. Before they tape and texture it and you know all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> you don't realize how easy it is just to do this base stuff right here and it's already functionable. I mean it really is. So anyways, that was a little that was a little secret I wanted to show at the end. But that was done over the weekend. Anyways, this is your classic 1700 Cape. Comes as a ranch. We also have the classic 1400 as a ranch and as a Cape. And we also have the Cherokee, which is the 2029 square foot version that comes as a ranch or a Cape. And they're all three basically the same house layout. So have a good day.